Welcome to the 2021 Partnerships in Community Living Summer Solstice Benefit Auction, Virtual Edition. We are so glad you've chosen to spend part of this hour with us. We gather tonight within a context of deeply meaningful celebrations and observances and are grateful that you would take time to celebrate this organization and our community during Pride Month and on Juneteenth, both of which hold great significance to PCL and our organizational family. Partnerships in Community Living would like to acknowledge the traditional ancestral territory of the Lucky Amute, the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde, and the Kalapuya, on which we work each day and are gathering tonight. PCL recognizes and respects indigenous peoples as traditional stewards of this land and the enduring relationship that exists between indigenous peoples and their traditional territories. We are deeply grateful to our sponsors who have stayed with us since everything that happened in 2020. Thank you to BHS Pharmacy, Bliss Sequoia Insurance, Cable Hill Partners, MAPS Credit Union, Oregon State Credit Union, U.S. Bank, and Waddell and Reed Financial Advisors. Good evening and welcome everyone. We are so glad that you decided to spend a little portion of your Saturday night with us. I'm Helen Schaffrin. I'm the Donor Relations and Stewardship Director here at Partnerships in Community Living and welcome to the Summer Solstice Benefit and Auction. We wish so much that we could be with you in person the way we've been in the past. It was terrible when we had to cancel last year altogether. Um, but at least we get to be with you this year, even though we're not out at Eola Hills or some other beautiful place celebrating the solstice and all that you've done to get us to where we are today. Um, we're just going to have a brief time together tonight where we talk about where PCL has been, where we are now, and where we're going with your support. And I invite you to sit back and relax and just listen along and watch along with us. And I want to introduce my good friend and a friend of PCL's, Jim Taylor, who will talk more about himself and his history here. Thank you, Helen. Hello, everybody. I wish it were a live event, but it's virtual. If it was live, I'd be running about meeting as many people as I could. Um, I do some auction work in the area to help nonprofits. Um, got started helping some music organizations, which is how Helen and I first met. But I'm actually your closest neighbor. I literally own the building directly behind the PCL building in Monmouth. Uh, my family bought it back in 1988, and we've had either one of the kids there going to Western Oregon or have been renting it to friends and family since. I'm now there full time. You'll see me and know me as the garden guy right next to Pete the Greek with the food cart. So anytime you want to drop by and say hi, I would love to talk with you and meet you in person. Um, I want to tell you just a little bit about myself, which I would do. I got you captive in the auction, so I would share with you about who I am and why I'm here. And part of that comes from being a part of an educator family. I'm a fifth generation educator. Um, my mom worked in special education, working with students with disabilities for over 20 years in Salem-Kaiser. And that's where I finished my teaching career, over 24 years in a classroom, over 30 years in education. I now work for the Department of Education, helping build career technical ed programs. And I want to share that with you because my experience as a music educator, teaching choir, recording arts, theater, um, orchestra, working then at a middle school teaching gardening, culinary arts, and multimedia, was that community is so important. Like the building of, creating that web of partners and friends in a community to support one another. Um, I've actually witnessed it as a neighbor, literally in Monmouth, and it's kind of surprising. Tonight, I'm sitting with Helen, not 10 feet from where I spent a lot of hours eating a lot of pizza. Uh, this was the original Ben Franklin Five and Dime store back in the day, and then it became a kind of an indoor mall with antique shops, and the old Main Street pizza was in the back corner here uh, where I'm sitting right now. So a lot of three meat pizzas went down with uh, friends from college. Uh, it's a joy to be back in this room tonight, to be with you, and to ask you to contribute by either bidding on items, uh, many wonderful items that are available tonight, some experiences, some art, some wine, all sorts of things you can see on the online auction, which has been going for a couple of days now. And that will all close at midnight, so make sure you get out another device, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later, but have another device out and do the auction while you're also listening to this presentation. All that said, PCL is coming up on 35 years as an organization in the community. 
I'm a co-director of a group, Male Ensemble Northwest, celebrating our 35th year right now. It takes commitment, it takes connection, it takes community to make that happen. So, a joy to be with you tonight. I hope, right now, I hope that I can be with you live next year. So, welcome to this evening's event. Helen? Thank you so much, Jim, and I hope the same as Jim does. It's so odd being a fairly new employee at PCL, not having had the pleasure to meet most of you that are such long-standing and unflagging, devoted supporters. Thank you again for making the choice to be with us. Don't forget what Jim said, get the auction site up on your tablet or your phone now so that you can make those bids. People have been bidding since noon on Monday and it is Saturday night and we have just a few hours left. So those bids are gonna be coming in and you wanna be competitive with those. Thank you, thank you. You know, every dollar that you are able to share with us tonight goes directly to help the people that we support in the My Home, My Life program. So it couldn't be more important or more timely for you to be with us tonight. Thank you so much. Let's get this rolling. PCL's mission is to expand the horizons and enhance the quality of life of those we support. Our staff carries out our mission 24-7, 365, as we live out and make our decisions and choices based on the shared values of our organization. You can access our carefully curated online auction at any time this evening during this presentation. You can view it on one device while still watching the broadcast on another. For those of you familiar with our summer solstice events, you are more than accustomed to the chance to acquire local art, and this year is no different. All auction item winning bidders will be contacted at the beginning of next week to arrange for pickup or delivery of your items. As you will see, since this year's event and its auction are a very visual experience, we've brought back some of the original flavor of an art-focused auction with signature artists like Jim Ransom, Anna Cottom, Heather LeBay, Gary olson Hasek, and our very own Zelly Allen. Joanne Furman and Zelly Allen first met in the 1980s, co-founded Partnerships in Community Living in 1987, and still lead today as our co-chief executive officers. Here they are to welcome you as well and say a few important words about why we're together this evening. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for the 2021 Summer Solstice Benefit Auction here at Partnerships in Community Living. And we're certainly glad you're here with us today. My name is Zelly Allen, co-founder of PCL, and this is... Hi, I'm Joanne Furman, I'm the other co-founder of PCL. I wanna thank you all for being partners and supporters of PCL for the many years. Your ongoing support of the work that we do, uh, our mission of expanding the horizons and enhancing the quality of life for those we support means so much to us. It's been your partnership and your collaboration with us over the years that have made significant differences in people's lives. Watching people learn, grow, and live the life they choose has all been from your support and help. Your generous donations to the My Home, My Life Fund, which is the benefit of this event, um, makes a real difference in people's lives and how they live. And you know how people live matters. That it matters about their health and just overall how good they feel about themselves. So the My Home, My Life Fund has helped us do amazing things over the years. Well, please join us on the live chat. Gives you an opportunity to ask questions, give information, and to. Uh, have your friends join us in this in on this live chat. Uh, we're having a great time here, so please join us. You know, like everybody else, we miss seeing you all in person, but we're really grateful that you took the time to be here virtually tonight. It doesn't mean you can't still have that great time that we've always had at these benefits before. Call your friends, come over, get a glass of wine, tell a joke. And bid. Every dollar you can offer PCL tonight, whether it's a financial donation or by bidding on and winning an auction item, makes a difference. It will help provide urgently needed in-home medical equipment, lift systems, home accessibility upgrades, rental assistance, play equipment for kids' homes, vital safety enhancements, and so much more. All for the My Home, My Life program fund. It's pretty simple. Communities thrive when all members have safe and affordable living situation. Here's our friend and person supported Robbie Iverson with a few insights. And then you'll hear from the vice president of our board of directors, 
Jan Burks. Hi, my name is Robbie Iverson. I'm 36 years old. I live in Marvin Fogan. Hi, my name is Carolyn. I am 49 and I am a DSP supporting Robbie. And I'm happy right now that I'm going to be independent, living in a home in Monmouth, and because in the future I'll be moving to Cabalas and to go, I'm going to be going to school down there. And I'm really happy right now because my dream is coming true. Hi, my name is Jan Burks and I am vice president on the board here at PCL. When Joanne and Zelle came across from to the high school and asked me about being on the board, I couldn't think of a better way to serve the students that we were serving in our high school program. We had a, an apartment program and we were very concerned about their lives after they left high school. So when they said they wanted to start a program that would serve adults with disabilities, I thought, this is perfect. I want to know and I want to protect them. I want to make sure that they have a life after school. Because I started with many of those students in early intervention. So all through their school life, I was there with them and their families, and we, we raised them together as a district and as families. So to have them now go into an adult life, I wanted to make sure that we were paving a wonderful path for them. Many people don't know what it was like before Partnerships in Community Living was founded or why it was founded. Let's take a minute and look back at PCL's origin story. PCL's co-founder, Zelly Allen, is quoted as saying and reminds us that, at the core of partnerships in community living is a wholehearted advocacy for social justice. We stand with anyone willing to shake a fist at the unconstitutional treatment of any person, idea, or group. In 1907, the Oregon State Institution for the Feeble-Minded was created by the Oregon State Legislature. It was established as a quasi-educational institution charged with educating the feeble-minded, today known as people with intellectual disability and various other developmental and learning disabilities. In 1923, the legislature established the Oregon Board of Eugenics, and 300 people were sterilized there in the ensuing six years alone. In 1933, the facility is renamed Oregon Fairview Home, in 1965, Oregon Fairview Home was renamed Fairview Hospital and Training Center. In 1979, the facility changed its name yet again to Fairview Training Center. Residents' treatment and nutrition had improved very slightly over the decades, but Fairview began releasing its residents to their communities in the late 1980s, and it was eventually closed for good in March of 2000. Partnerships in Community Living began in Independence, Oregon when the first round of Fairview closures was underway and people were moving out into the communities. This made some people nervous and some counties even refused to accept people. At this point, the state began to contract with service providers and PCL made its debut in 1987 under the name Polk County Summer Camp for the Handicapped. It originally provided integrated recreation for about 75 people with intellectual and developmental disabilities who were living in Polk, Marion, and Yamhill counties. By mid-1991, Polk County Summer Camp for the Handicapped changed its name to Polk Community Living and had more than tripled in size. 
1998, the main office moved to its current Monmouth location and chose a name more reflective of the mission and communities in which people receiving services lived, Partnerships in Community Living, or PCL. Isn't it amazing to witness how PCL has grown over the years? Now supporting people in eight counties and employing approximately 700 team members? As people's interests and requests for support changed, so did the type of services we provide. What began as a summer camp now includes support to people in their own homes, support for people while they work, behavioral health supports, in-home individual and family support, support for people to be integral members of their community, and much more. PCL is honored to provide services for hundreds of people in eight Oregon counties through six different programs. We support people at home and at work and provide opportunities that promote mental health and happiness. We provide a full range of services, everything from 24 hours a day of help in someone's home to a one day, one person, one thing at a time boost. Everything we do is geared specifically for the needs of each person we support. You'll hear names like job launch for career building, tapestry for intentional community inclusion, and individualized services when someone needs help with life chores and community building. It takes heart and dedication to do this work. The people that choose to serve PCL and support the people that we support know this, and they choose us for a reason. They want to make an impact. They want to make a difference. And they work with all their hearts every single shift, every day. PCL never closes. We are open 24-7, 365, and we can do that with your support. One of the things we'd like to ask you right now, and again, if this was a live auction, I'd be running around saying, have you phoned a friend yet? This is a chance for you to reach out to family and friends and say, I'm watching this right now. We want you to get online. We want you to check out the auction before it closes tonight. Again, your financial contributions help PCL continue to weave the web of support for their clients across the state. Right now, we'd like you to start thinking about what can you afford to give? We'll continue with this thought throughout the remainder of the event. But please now think about who could you invite into this conversation? Again, neighbors connected together make this happen. State of Oregon Representative Paul Evans, representing House District 20, is a strong advocate for PCL, and his letter of appreciation and commendation from earlier this spring means a great deal to us. I'm keenly interested in making certain all people have an opportunity to participate, says Representative Evans on his website. Well, sir, we couldn't agree more. PCL is grateful to be able to provide services to young people with accelerated behavioral and mental health support needs the purpose of which are to stabilize young adults for the transition to a less restrictive, more authentic living environment. The homes of young people supported involve sound practices designed to celebrate and promote successful graduation to the next stage of personal advancement. For nearly three and a half decades, our wider PCL community of families, friends, and neighbors have made PCL part of their lives and priorities making sure we can keep providing creative supports as defined by those we serve, fostering mutual respect, ethical treatment and understanding, and championing flexibility, diversity, and dignity. We offer heartfelt gratitude for your ongoing role in this compassionate, caring, and giving PCL community that will continue to create and grow together as we look to the second half of 2021 and beyond. We need your partnership and your resources to be able to continue supporting hundreds of Oregonians in the way PCL does best. With tonight's program well underway, we'll begin reminding you to give a meaningful contribution that will help positively influence those lives of the hundreds of Oregonians PCL supports. A generous gift of $2,500 or more would provide advanced training for PCL staff, which in turn directly impacts those we support by our being able to provide the best possible person-centered services. Thank you for considering a generous gift of $2,500 tonight. Community is truly our middle name, both literally and figuratively. The Monmouth Independence Chamber of Commerce recently held their spring voting process, and PCL was recognized as the 2021 Nonprofit Business of the Year. 
The Monmouth Independence Chamber did such a great job keeping their vote tallies a secret so that each of those recognized would be surprised when they received the award. Just as Joanne is here in this photo with Sarah from the Chamber, we are so very thankful to be a part of our wonderful community here in Monmouth and in all the other places the people we support call home. It's not just loyal donors and supporters like you who know that PCL has got what it takes to continue supporting hundreds of Oregonians with compassion and skill. Receiving awards like this is an honor because it shows that our community recognizes the work that we do and the supports and services we provide. At PCL's annual Appreciation and Awards Banquet, we thank a local or regional business or organization with our George Grabenhorst Jr. Award for outstanding community service. Our most recent Grabenhorst Award winner was the Oregon Resource Association, the professional membership association for providers of services to individuals with disabilities. ORA, Lois and her team went to great lengths to stay by PCL's side during not only the pandemic, but also the terrible wildfires as individuals experienced significant danger, loss, and displacement. Allies like ORA, and like all of you watching right now, make an overwhelmingly positive difference. Your generous contribution of $1,000 would do a huge amount of good. Often, the people we support go through the same homeowner challenges anyone else encounters, and that includes replacing furniture that has run its course. Additionally, special furniture adapted to someone's specific need is often required, and this type of furniture is often much more costly than standard furniture. Furniture enriches people's lives and will have a lasting impact on their day-to-day -day existence. Please consider now making a gift of $1,000 tonight because how people live matters. Thank you. There are so many reasons why our staff often choose to spend many years with PCL. Our workforce is mission-driven. Our staff team members are here because this work is deeply meaningful and impactful. Our employees believe in creating opportunities to advance social justice for all people to live, work, play, love, and thrive in communities they choose, and they care for the people they support with all their hearts. One staff member recently said about the gentleman he had supported for years, he was the closest thing I had to family. I can't think of any relationship that's been more impactful. One aspect of our board plan is its four key results areas. And one of those is that PCL is a great place to work. Just as the family members and friends of the people we support do, our staff also regularly evaluates our organization and completes satisfaction surveys. These are incomparably valuable as we continue to strive for nothing less than excellence. The PCL staff is one very large team made up of smaller teams who work their hardest, laugh, learn, and love the people supported and one another, just like family. The PCL team makes sure to always keep in mind our five playbook values, levity, humility, integrity, abundance mentality, and tenacity, which help frame and are a part of every single shift worked every day and all through the night. As we've already made clear, many of our caring staff choose to spend multiple years and sometimes the bulk of their careers in service to PCL and the people we support. Here's one such devoted staff member to share a little more about their experience. We support it in PCL, kind of um, cool and why? Because I know I know Joanne and Zelly for 24 years. Um, I know Zelly Joanne since I was 12 years old and they Joanne was supporting me at Work Limited. And I met Zelly when I was just uh, 12 years old. He was a giant when I first met <laughs> Zelly. Oh my God, the office was over at Little, Little Main Mall in Independence. And the first time I saw Zelly, um, I had a toy car in my hand. He was like, that car, that was really making wheels. It was so <laughs> happy to see Zelly. And Joanne was supporting me because she was DSP. She was working two jobs. She was doing... She was managing PCL, plus being a DSP at Work Unlimited. But when she left Work Unlimited, it, it, it crossed my heart to see her go. And I watched her, I watched her kids grow. I watched Erin Allen grow, Travis Allen. 
and Carissa grow and all with the school with me at Central High School. It was just like, it was kind of the coolest thing in my life to meet the Adams. It was kind of cool. To me, being a DSP is very important because people like Robbie need people like us. It's not just the support that we give them. We love them. We care for them. And they are a part of our life. And so it's really, really important for y'all to support and donate to support us as DSPs and to support the individuals that need supports. Because without y'all, we're not able to get wheelchairs. We're not able to get vans that need lifts in them to take people oh, out on outings to beaches to go visit their loved ones you know all these things are very very important to us as dsps to the individuals that we each support mm -hmm. no matter what their medical condition is everybody needs something and for us as dsps when parents get overwhelmed or facilities are just not capable of doing things that we are capable of doing because we get the best training too and we have great knowledge and compassion. Your generous contribution of $500 would have a major positive impact. Often, the people we support must be able to travel in a vehicle that truly accommodates their individual needs and any particular equipment they may always have to have with them. Simple vehicle accommodations can be costly, yet make such a wonderful daily difference for people supported and their staff. Thank you for considering a gift of $500 tonight. A few more of our devoted Board of Directors members wanted to share with you and the rest of our community about why PCL is so important to them. Here they are in their own words. Um, I think that there is a lot of families and people out there that need guidance and need help. And um, PCL provides a pathway for them to get assistance for their, um, their family member or their friend who may need some assistance. And PCL provides an opportunity for those people to get some direction, to get some financial assistance, and to get some help. Well, I got exposed to PCL through a friend and we started participating in the summer solstice and the golf tournaments that they hosted. And it was a lot of fun, um, but always felt that there was something more that I could do to, to help out. Um, and so one Christmas, I kind of call it my aha moment. One Christmas, I dressed up as Santa Claus to pick up my daughter at the Eugene airport. Uh, she was coming in from school and I thought that would be fun. And so I walked into the Eugene airport dressed as Santa and this little boy um, with disabilities came running over to me, just made a beeline and kind of surprised me. And we sat down and talked and talked about what he wanted for Christmas and just various things. And we took some pictures and went on about our ways. After that, I got my daughter and he went on with his family. But the moment really struck me, struck my heart. And I just felt like you know, that there was a need out there where I could maybe help out or wanted to contribute. Um, and shortly after that experience, a position on the board came open and I uh, interviewed for it and volunteered and they chose me to, to participate. And I've been doing it for about four years and I've liked it. It's been very satisfying. During the pandemic, if we didn't already realize how heavily most of us rely on technology to stay connected, that reality quickly became obvious. Often, those we support and their families and friends can't be together in person very frequently, and a computer, like the one many of you are using right now, is not available. A gift of $250 would help provide a video phone or communication device to help keep relationships and connections stronger despite the distances that separate. Thank you for considering a gift of $250 tonight. I think it's important to support My Home, My Life because uh, as a fund it provides a valuable tool that enables us to help those whom we serve find a direction and to take control over their lives. They can choose if they want to live alone, they can choose if they want to live with others. Our purpose is to provide them with the resources to enable them to do that in a way that they choose and that they want to live. 
And that is, again, fundamental in terms of providing dignity and self-respect. Not all of the people we support are able to have their own apartment and live on their own without help, honestly. There are things like uh, wheelchair ramps, uh, lifts to move people around. There are supports in bathtubs, bathrooms, and toilets, things that you don't think of, that we take for granted every day. And those are the things your money is gonna pay for when you donate today for the summer solstice. Good. When the state, the county, and the feds give us money, it has to do, like I said, just for housing. But it doesn't mean the housing fits the person. There Maybe the counters are Perfect. four feet high and you need them two feet high so the person in a wheelchair can get to them easier. Or you need utilities that go on and off by voice commands or things like that because somebody can't get up and do that and they don't want to have to call in their helpers just every time, hey, I need my light off, I need my fan on, the TV's too loud. Perfect. They can change that with their voices. And that's things that we can do with My Home, My Life where the, feds, the funds we get from the government won't go for those. Those only go for the actual basic needs where anything else has to come from us or from you, from donations, from purchasing, gifts, of things at the art auction, participating in other things that we do. Uh, feel free to give generously to the <laughs> art auction or any other PCL event. That's how we fund the My Home, My Life. The, that's the only way we fund it. We don't have, we can't, you know, borrow from the feds and the state money. We can't do any of that. So feel free to give generously. It can be either a one-time gift. You can do a monthly gift. You can do all sorts oh, of different. Stole types my of, answer. <laughs> <laughs> of ways to do it, but we need you to do it. And if you haven't been had your vaccine yet, go ahead and get that too, oh so we can <laughs> get this thing done with. We can visit people. We can do things together. So get your shots. I agree. We'd love to make this live again. I do miss seeing everyone that came to the auction and bid on the beautiful baskets that they made and the artwork that people work so hard on. And again, it is so easy to give. You can do a monthly withdrawal from your checking account. You can write a check today. If that's not something you can do, you can volunteer and you're going to fall in love like I did with PCO. And if you're wondering, all this nice artwork here was from the PCL art auction. We bought it there. Every one of these pictures there, and you can own those too. $100 is a lot of money to most people, and it definitely is to PCL and the people that we support. So often, the right tool that someone with disabilities needs is financially out of reach. Whether it's an iPhone tablet with voice command or text-to-speak, and the ability to add apps such as picture scheduling or task management, or even a set of hearing aids, a gift of 100 or more would help fund just the right tools to make a huge difference for the individuals that PCL supports. Thank you for considering a gift of $100 or more tonight. Let's spend a minute with the man everyone knows as Fui, the founder of Island Boy Camp, a successful nonprofit youth sports program and also a PCL staffer for more than two decades. Uh, in the first place, uh, I needed a job while I was in college. And um, this just, they were hiring and I met Zelly, uh, uh, some other circumstances and stuff, but uh, I was really drawn to him and he was like, if you need a job, come see me. And I had no idea what I was getting into. And uh, 24 years later, I can't imagine my life without it. So that's, it's, a, it's an amazing place. Uh, not too many places where you can actually sit down and have a conversation with the people that run the company but like be real with them. And, and I have a very great relationship with, with both Zelly and Joanne. They're, they're like pseudo parents and stuff to me. I've grown up here, I'm 42 now. So uh, I've spent a lot of time in PCL and I love this place, it's my home. If making a tangible difference matters to you, PCL is the ideal place to contribute your resources. Some folks spend four or five dollars every workday on their favorite drive through coffee drink. That's about $100 a month. A donation of half that amount, $50, which is also about the cost of a tank of gas right now, will give a person supported a longer lasting boost than that coffee gives its drinker and get them farther than that one tank of gas. And you'll feel great about the difference you've made. Thank you for considering a gift of $50 tonight. Even after tonight and the auction are over, 
There are many ways to support the My Home, My Life program all year round, with an annual gift to PCL, with a monthly sustainer commitment, and more. We'll make it easy for you. Every dollar helps. As we come to the close of our time together tonight, we would like to thank you for being part of the rich story that is PCL. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for reaching out to friends and family. And thank you for the donations that are going to continue to sustain the good work of PCL. Helen would like to turn to you now and say thanks for the many wonderful things that have happened over the course of this year and the many people who have contributed. Absolutely. Thank you, Jim. We couldn't be here tonight if it weren't for the generous, generous support of the artists who donated their beautiful original works, the community businesses who came together and offered up their special wares that we wouldn't be able to get anywhere else, the sponsors, the businesses who came forward and said, we believe in you. Even folks who sponsored us last year when we weren't able to have an event stayed with us this year and we couldn't be more grateful. All of you donors who have donated throughout the year, our monthly sustainers, our donors who have donated online tonight, we can't wait to thank you. And everybody that will be contributing between now and midnight by making a donation on our website or purchasing something from our auction. We wish you all the best with those last minute auction bids. We just are so grateful to be with you. I don't know how to thank you enough and I, I just wish I could thank you in person. We're gonna have to hold off on that until it's safe. But for now, we wish you a peaceful and healthy and wonderful summer. We wish you a happy solstice and we thank you so, so much for your support of partnerships in community living. We hope to see you very soon. Thank you again for joining us tonight. Have a good evening. Many thanks to everyone who has registered and is participating in the auction and advance congratulations to those winning bidders. We'll be reaching out to you early next week to figure out the best way to get your items to you. Very special thanks to all of our business and individual donors with particular gratitude to those artists who have given PCL their original works year after year after year. We are so grateful. PCL thanks tonight's special guests, Robbie Iverson, Jan Burks, Carolyn Kendrick, Stu Laney, Chris Harris, Janet Combs, Brian Laughlin, Alex Fui Fuimono, co-host Jim Taylor, and our partners at Oregon Marketing Group. Final thanks for joining Partnerships in Community Living tonight. Be sure to mark your calendars for Saturday, June 18th, 2022, when we will once again be able to celebrate PCL and the summer solstice in person. Naturally, we'll hope to see you multiple times long before that. Please visit the auction site again. Have a wonderful evening and stay well.